troublesome stuff in the, yeah, we're about sure to drive into. Is. I would have put so much money what? on this was Kesha. Yeah, yeah stinks it of Kesha. Mm. Hey, I would, you know not, what? Not knowing the answer, but I would put money on this being floated to Kesha before Katy Perry yeah. got yeah, it in a hundred percent. You know what, Sav? Mm. You were so fucking close to this because the producers, Max Martin Dr. and Luke. Dr. Luke. Ah, yeah. yeah. There we so, go. So Kesha's rapist, Kesha's rapist, all over this, mm. <laughs> all over this. Um, all right. Uh, the first verse. There's a stranger in my bed. There's a pounding in my head. Glitter all over the room. Pink flamingos in the pool. I smell like a mini bar. DJs passed out in the yard. Barbies on the barbecue. <laughs> this a hickey or a bruise? Oh. Katie. That Katie. would be very confronting to wake Katie. up with something and you're like, well, is that a fucking hickey or a bruise? If so, have I been what beaten? Sort of forms. <laughs> what forms do I need to fill out now? Katie, <laughs> do you need help? Can you let us know if you need help? Because blink I'm... three times. Mm. <laughs> yeah, this is this is concerning. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I mean, have you been sexually assaulted or just assaulted? That's basically what we're trying to get down to here, right? Mm. Yeah, yeah. Also, <laughs> Barbie's like, on Sav, the barbecue. Has Sav been here or what? Yeah. No, we're not going. Yeah, right. <laughs> um, Barbie's on the barbecue. Yep. Barbie's on the barbecue. Like, obviously, we're talking Barbie dolls here, but imagine if you bought a barbecue and you had an old one. You're like, you know what? You know, I'd be good. We could just send the old one off by fucking barbing it. This. Yeah. Let's just send the Double old one off with a barbie. fucking bit of medium rare, shall we, kids? <laughs> chuck your steaks on one barbecue, chuck that barbecue on the, the other barbecue. Yeah. yeah, and then smoke it. <laughs> smoke um, it. Double hot. Oh, he, double the fucking oh, fun. Sav? Yes. Sav, how, how hard Matthew. and yep. what uh, utensils would you need? To remove the molten plastic of a Barbie that has been cooking on your I barbecue. Fucking, I was oh, very, man. very stressed to where you were going to go with that question. Yeah. Yeah. I thought you were going to. I just wanted anyway, to um, yeah, look, I'll, I will answer that question. I'm happy to. Thanks. Um, yeah. Do you reckon it'll come up easy? <laughs> the plastic? Uh, I th- well, it depends on what you used to prep the surface beforehand. If you use not oil. vinegar or not oil, okay, fuck. All right. Here we nah, go. not oil. Right. Yeah, these it's guys aren't giving a fuck. Yeah, probably splash right. some beer on it. Splash some beer on it. Is there a way you can utilize um, the lubricating force that is WD-40 in this instance? Oh, I reckon so. I, yeah, look, the thing about WD-40, you know, like it, a lot of people don't realize this, it's not actually a lubricant. What? It, it, WD-40 is not a lubricant. What is it? Um, it's an anti-rust formula. It's a oh, it's a freeing it. mechanism. It frees things. It doesn't actually lubricate things. But, so why does it oh, stop things okay. from being squeaky? Yeah, okay. uh, because it's it's freeing the friction. <laughs> so the thing with the thing with uh, lubrication I'm, I'm is lubri- lubricants tend to stick around for a while, whereas WD forty only so, lasts for a little bit and then it eventually evaporates. Oil Are you doesn't. saying I shouldn't be spraying a whole can of WD-40 into the oil canister of my car every week? I probably wouldn't, but it's been done before and, and you should be I'll right. Stop that so, then. Yeah. I'll stop. So okay, you're good. saying it frees up like it, you know, when there's friction. Um, I'm saying like WD-40 if you've got like a rusty middle. bolt that you need re- removed, spray a bit of yeah, WD-40, WD-40 on it. Okay. it. Yeah. But if you want to, if you want to fix I a door have... hinge, I'd be using like Singer oil. Okay. What about if you have a continual problem with chafe? <laughs> <laughs> Definitely uh, WD-40. WD-40 is your friend. 3B yeah. action cream. Yeah. I can send you guys a photo of the proof if you don't believe me, but I have... Ball sack? There's plenty times when I've got ball sack and thigh chafe and yeah 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 it gets to a point of the day like if this chafe hits at like 2 p.m i'm i'm pretty sure i'm gonna be okay look this isn't look this is not an ad we i was not paid for this at all but i've got the solution to that i've got it on an instagram ad step one 
is the name of the brand. They make these like undies, trunks, boxes. Oh, shorts. Yes. they are Look. thrashing me yeah. with the target yeah. ads. Yeah, a little but pouch, say- a little <laughs> pouch for your cock and balls to go in. No chafing whatsoever. Have you no, bought some? Amazing. Have you bought some? I don't. I... I bought one pair to see if it worked, and then I bought <laughs> fucking ten pairs. Wow! Can I borrow some of yours? Yeah. <laughs> Do that. Can I give you? That probably. Can won't I give fit. you a cheaper just... solution, Dan? Dan Southern. Yeah. Uh, neat. Neat is the brand. Three B Action Cream, good for breast, buttocks, and legs. I'm not rubbing cream <laughs> on my dick. <laughs> Yeah, well, you're missing out, mate. <laughs> or, or water displacement um, 40th formula is what I would use for that. <laughs> <laughs> Just hold up the ball stack, give it a bit of a spray. Yeah. yeah. Um, anyway, yeah. where were we? Well, Look, I think I'll try um, all. Th- I'll try all three. But Tim, do they make those step one uh, undergarment? Um, <laughs> undergarment. Do they make Don't those? You dare start, for... start to be like professional. <laughs> yeah, you you look at your measurements. So they... You get your measurements, and then you you you. Match it up to on the website. All right, dick size, forty-seven Can I just inches. Limp? It, say that um, do you make one for them? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Is make there like do they make them for? E- yeah, I was about to say. That's what I was do. do you make them for elephants? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'll yeah. take the elephant one. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Matthew, in in the answer to your yeah. question that went off for half an hour, and yeah. thus ruined our forty-minute ah, threshold. What are you going to do? Uh, let's just cut the episode at 40 minutes and just see what happens. See if we f- <laughs> still maintain the same amount of followers. Um, yeah. I would just like f- heat the fucking shit of it back up and just try and scrape yeah, it while okay. it's still melted. While it's still a bit warm. Yeah. Soft. Soft. Yeah. You br- use a brush or you scrape it? Um, fingers. Oh, it might get hot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, you, you'd probably um, want to turn it off before you got you started getting it off. No, no, yeah, you want true. it. So, you want it to be on the hottest setting, still on. Have you heard of um, Freon gas before? No. Okay, so Freon gas. Uh, it's known to admit a strong chemical smell, not unlike that of uh, acetone or nail polish remover. Oh. It's a gas that's used in refrigeration. So when she's saying that she smells like a mini bar, she smells like Freon gas. <laughs> okay. No, I would not. We're know. learning something about Miss Perry. Can that kill yeah. you? It yeah. surely can kill you, that smell. Oh, can you imagine just someone next year and they, for some, what's admitting from their body smells like nail polish remover? Like oh. just how fucking sickly they must be? Yeah. Mm. There's only uh, one person on the she's like, only one person on the planet that I think would smell like that, and it's Keith yeah. Richards. <laughs> it's just like he's um, yeah. They've started to embalm him while he's alive. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, do you know a, a hickey and a bruise are technically the same thing? Yeah, I feel like a, a bruise. Oh, yeah, is like if you if you get a bruise and you don't really know where you, like you're like where the where the hell did I get that? If you touch it, you probably get this like oh that's right now you know I kicked the bloody coffee table. I reckon if you touch a hickey, it doesn't even hurt. Like but if you touch both- it, you're not gonna go. Ow, that's right. That's where I got sucked. <laughs> Like, it's probably not going to happen. You're probably just going to go like, oh, it's a bit of a weird mark. You're going to touch it and then nothing's even going to happen. Yeah. Seems, um, it's almost like branding someone, isn't it? A little a bit. A little yeah. bit. Yeah. It's marking yeah, your territory in some way, shape or form. It's like taking a piss on a telegraph pole. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> marking your territory. Um, that means I own this now. Yeah, <laughs> you're in my fucking neighborhood. Um, Pre chorus. Pictures of last night ended up online. I'm screwed. Oh well. It's a blacked out blur, but I'm pretty sure it ruled. Damn. Been saying this is- about this one. So when you say something like pictures of last night ended up online and I'm screwed, yeah. Different meaning if you're us four. Or Katy Perry? 100%. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, oh, shit. My boss <laughs> yeah. is probably going to see this and, like, fire me. That's cool. Katy Perry's like, 
I yeah, am going to be online bullied ruined. forever. Yeah, I'm done yeah. in the industry. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Either, actually, well, well career, you know what? My career's over. You know what? We're not too far off each other because both our careers are probably done. Hey, yeah. if I had a career, I'd be fucked. Yeah. But the caliber <laughs> of the pitches, the caliber of the pitches would be yeah. a different level too. Yeah. That's like, right. Yeah. And a picture yeah, of you yeah. ends up online. Like if it's one of us, it's like picture of us ended up online because uh, I was tagged at the work Christmas party and we're all, yeah, we're, we're all, we're all a bit fucking very, yeah. uh, normal. Mm. Yeah, no, yeah. it's like, but we're like the worst that it got is that we got a little bit tipsy and that's about it. And we're all posing for the photo. Yeah. But for her, it's like, yeah, you know, Getty images any, have any, put any... something through like five stages of <laughs> effects and just been like front page <laughs> yeah, of yeah. new idea. She's fucked. Yeah. <laughs> what? Can I what? ask? Can I ask you though? Yeah. Um, If pictures of last night ended up online, literally last night, what would happen <laughs> to you, Chibs? What would be the picture? Um, yeah, and what would what would the consequences be? Um, I watched the Night Stalker documentary on Netflix. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah cool. and then I went out and reenacted one of those things. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, cool. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you're, you're screwed. Sc- I've been Southern. screwed. Yeah. What what pictures of last night ended up online for you? Um, I am going through a little bit of uh, mental stress uh, about a situation that I'm in at the moment. So I chose to get drunk last night and watch It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia until about 2 a.m. in the morning. That'll um, do it. In, in bed. I just kept doing that until I passed out. Yeah, you're um, screwed. Yep. <laughs> Zav? Um, there is a picture of me <laughs> in the middle of the Canberra Civic Center. Um. Stark naked <laughs> with a cigarette up my butthole. Last night. Last night. Last night. <laughs> From last night. Wednesday night. No. Um, <laughs> <laughs> a cigarette up my butthole. Um, yeah. That's how he smokes now. Yeah. It's, it's the like, most efficient. You know what I love? Winfield Blue. Yeah. <laughs> Just put this up my ass. Don't mind me. Nice- no, it's me <laughs> spilling my Jesse. it's me spilling my glass of wine while watching The Prisoner of Azkaban. <laughs> <laughs> so all, yeah, all over my Basically chest. Basically, what I'm True. trying to get at here is, pitch, if you had pictures of all four of us last night, it'd all be just us watching something on TV. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, I do like that if Zav did smoke from his ass and he's just standing there and his mates like, just don't mind if I smoke, right? <laughs> <laughs> it just, I just have, I just, it We're just like, frees nah, up sure. this way. It no just worry. frees up he both just my hands. He drops his fucking pants. Frees up both drops my hands. His pants all the way, all the way to the ankles. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And just starts. It just gets you there oh. quicker. I was in a toilet the <laughs> other day at a bar and I fucking swear to God, there was a guy my age, mid twenties and ankles, fucking ankles, his pants to piss. And I was like, bro, yeah. no one does that. <laughs> Do you reckon, like, just no one's ever told him you don't do that? I think so. I think everyone's just been like, oh, shit, there must be something going on with him. But he was oh, a normal dude, yeah. I'm telling you. Clearly not, though. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. right. That's different. Yeah. That's Imagine different seeing someone pull them down to their ankles at this age. Yeah. I do it. I do it for a joke. Like, I'll do it <laughs> just to make all my friends go, oh, you're an idiot. Actually, Dan, you were there the other <laughs> night. Done it. Yeah. But why does that not surprise yeah. me? That was yeah. me. I saw you. I saw you yeah. that night. Oh, yeah, I was doing it too. It's okay. well, I had a let's, cigarette in my hand. Let's circle back. Yeah. Let's it's circle called, back. Kay. It's Katie called Perry. bubbling. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right, yeah. let's move on. Fucking hell. It's, it's a blacked out blurb, and I'm pretty sure it ruled. Look, Katie, if this is happening every Friday night and you're blacking out every Friday night, yeah. this is a No, problem. it's not yeah. because I black out every Friday night and I'm fine. All right. Sorry, Zav, but. Uh, <laughs> Oh, I'm fine. Time. All right, fine. I'm yeah. lying. Zab, this, I'm lying. This whole pod- I don't black out every Friday night. I black out every Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday night. <laughs> <laughs> the trifecta, yeah, I call this- it. He likes to get a run. That's up actually why we. Yeah. <laughs> this podcast is uh is actually it's a rude. Um, we're actually here to be an intervention yeah. for you. I'm just going to throw Zab. a little uh, party emoji reaction here. <laughs> up <in the> chat. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. Well, hey, okay, let's the drink. chorus. The chorus, uh, last Friday night, yeah, we danced on tabletops and we took too many shots. Think we kissed, but I forgot. 
Last Friday night, yeah, we maxed our credit cards and got kicked out of the bar. So we hit the boulevard last Friday night. We went streaking in the park, skinny dipping in the dark, then had a menage a trois last Friday night. Yeah, I think we broke the law. Always say we're going to stop op. Oh, whoa. <laughs> it's just it's criminal, criminal behavior. Fuck, imagine um, how much I had to spend to max out Katy Perry's credit card. Yeah. They'd be like, can I? I'm going to the get, moon. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. we, I want to buy a shot for everyone in the bar. And they're like, no worries. Put on my credit card. Also, I want to buy the bar. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the whole uh, the building as well. Yeah. What else have you got? <laughs> can I buy your this house? This suburb isn't quite. Like, no, this I, suburb I, is I, not I, large. I will I, buy I the suburb. my house. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I've always wanted um, a postcode. When they said... Uh, they had a menage a trois, but they think they broke the law. Is it like an incest sort of thing going on or what? <laughs> Could be. It's up to you. Fuck a brother and a dad? I want to get to the law. About, so this, the, the sort of jauntiness of this song makes it seem like it's a great time, but like in reality, all this <laughs> stuff happening bad. like in real, like real sloppy, messy, drunk would just be like, could you imagine the reality of this? If they're like oh. streaking in the park and then they go, into the water in the dark and they're still naked and then they all just start sleeping with each other. It'd be so like, ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> just completely it'd fucked. So, completely it'd be really fucked. awkward to watch. I just yeah. don't know how you max your credit card at a house party. I don't know. Yeah. Who's got like F post facilities? <laughs> Not then. Oh, yeah. I do now. I mean, no, but I don't know. Square, I don't know. square payments. <laughs> <laughs> to me, this sounds like um, I'm going to guess eight writers of the song just sat around going, all right, guys, um, let's think about what the crazy kids do when they go out and they party. <laughs> all right. So we all know that they bloody, uh, what do they do? Um, and we've got new ideas. They're like, uh, well, they dance on tabletops. They all do that. I've seen like, that you know, before. Just, yeah, I've seen that before. I, uh, somewhere. I'm not sure. But A like, movie. And and it feels like Titanic. all of these lines yeah. are just like super cliche about like had a crazy night. And then it's like, yeah, you're watching a movie and they flash back to the night and they're doing all these overstated, exaggerated things like on the tabletop, too many shots, got kicked out the bar, you know, we go Just streaking. Trying to, trying to tap tap the credit card, declined, declined, yeah. declined. <laughs> 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 Crazy yeah, shit. That's the, that's the other thing I want to talk about where like if we sort of like go the timeline of this song because stuff happens later on as well. There's only so many hours in a night, you know, like yeah. Yeah. dance on tabletops, yeah. give yourself maybe 10, 15 minutes max. Too many shots, you know, a couple of minutes, I guess. Depends how long the line is at the bar. Yeah. You know, by the time we get to the end of this, there's not enough time to do all this stuff. So what <laughs> are they just spending like a, a minute on each thing or? Yeah, maybe. I mean. It's just, yeah. it's just, yeah. it's not very credible is all I'm saying. No, there's a lot going on. Oh, but you know, sometimes you have those nights where just you can manage to fit in a lot of shit. I got lost in Lithgow one time. Did you? Yeah. John Lithgow. Yeah, lost <laughs> in his. Yeah. Lost in his eyes. Which hole? Which hole did you get stuck in? <laughs> lost, lost in Lithgow. And it's just you lost and in that. Lithgow, lost in that voice. Other. Yeah. Yeah. Harry and the Henderson Lithgow. Oh. Um, yeah, okay. yeah. Third Rock from the Sun. <laughs> yeah. Okay, the post chorus, because that's what you need in a Max Martin song. Uh, but this Friday night, do it all again. But this Friday night, do it all again. Yeah. She's got a problem, Bevo. Mm. I'm concerned, actually. I'm, I'm quite oh, concerned. She's, eight, so she's 18. She, 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 she's not even 18. She wants to. So the next, when it comes around the next week, she's going to do the tabletop shots, max her credit cards out once again, uh, get yeah, kicked you know, out so of many the bar. Times, can't you? Like, how many times can you turn up to this bar and get kicked out week in, week out, and then go streaking again? It's like, once you, you, you don't do streaking, like, as a scheduled thing. Like, yeah. you don't be like, okay, how about next Friday we all meet up, <laughs> we fucking streak again, skinny dip. Who the fuck? Mm. Into the reckon? water. What do you reckon? Yeah. 
that's like, that oh, becomes, no, um, it's more of a spur of the moment thing. Like, I don't really think we should plan it out. No, no, do it, doing it again next Friday. Doing it again and again and again so, because, like, <clears throat> because it was a spur of the moment thing last week, and then there was one person in the group that is a bit awkward about their body and they thought, fuck it, I'll do it. I'll be one of the group. And then they got made fun of and they're like, well, I'm never doing that again. And then there was also someone else in the group that inappropriately like was getting too close to someone else and they didn't like that. So there's all these problems that are associated <laughs> with streaking. You've done it once. You go, oh, you know, but the thought of doing it again is like, no, nah, I'm not doing that again. No, did you, no, no. Did you <laughs> see, yeah. you know, once did you enough. see Andrew's, did you see Andrew's weird balls? They, they were weird. I'm not going anywhere near there. <laughs> I can't. Could you look imagine at them catching? Again. Imagine catching this pattern though, like from the outside, and just being like, "Dude, if you go to the park at like 9 p.m. every Friday night, right. Katy Perry, a couple of people, <laughs> Katy Perry streets, yeah. past. she nudes up and then fucks in the park <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> yeah. every Friday yeah. night. Like they have two buses go past. <laughs> now, now, if we be quiet and we look out the right side window. You'll see Katy Perry skinny dipping in the pond. Oh, no, no, it's not done yet. See her friends there. They're about to mate. <laughs> see her friends there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, the yes. Katy Perry. <laughs> Katy Perry has found herself on the bank of the river. And there's a, there is a, there is a male man there. <laughs> <laughs> and he's doing a trick. Oh, and she's very impressed. Now they are mating. Oh, she's naked. <laughs> oh, a friend mm. has come along. Planet Earth. Yeah, this is, uh, Planet Earth <laughs> really is a beautiful place. <laughs> oh, we'll find this, this happens every Friday night in perpetuity. We are in the natural <laughs> we are in the natural wetlands of Hollywood Boulevard. And <laughs> everyone is wet. <laughs> What's that smell? Mini bar. What's that smell? Mini bar. Syphilis. <laughs> <laughs> All right, the second verse. It's like, now, if you turn to the right, you'll see Hard Rock Cafe. <laughs> Far less interesting, but that's just the next thing on the tour. Yeah. <laughs> you can, just you as can, just like, can we, we stay can, here? We, can, <laughs> we must move on. <laughs> we, we, we can circle back later if you want. Or you can get off now. We'll pick you up at the end. <laughs> <laughs> or come back next Friday. <laughs> yeah, we'll do, do it, it all, all again. again. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the second verse. Uh, trying to connect the dots. Don't know what to tell my boss. Think the city towed my car. Chandelier is on the floor. <laughs> Ripped my favorite party dress. Warrants out for my arrest. <laughs> Jesus. Think I need a ginger ale. That was such an epic fail. God. Oh, Cat, man. That's, that line is 100% like epic fail. That's like they've, uh, they've got access to like Google search terms and they're yeah, like, yeah. what is the most what are the kids saying? Search term for, for <laughs> yeah. youth these days? It's like epic yeah. fail is what they're all saying. Let's work that in the song. Just like, like, that's let's the start most- there and work backwards. Yeah, like um, that's the, like this song seems real dated when when you read that lyric mm. because like epic fail yeah. is just not something that gets said much anymore. Did, but it was how did like, they rhyme? They rhymed car with floor. Where's that? Think yeah. the city, the city my car, my chandelier car, is on the chandelier floor. Chandelier is on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> now here's the thing, right? There's a warrant out for her arrest. This is the middle of the night. Do you know how heavy? a fucking crime she had to have committed for the police to oh, wake yeah. a judge up in the middle of the night <laughs> and present enough evidence yeah. for them to issue a warrant for her it arrest. Like, what? It could have been any one of the Friday nights from now till forever, really. Yeah, but you don't, like, what you don't just, like, say, oh, I just went on fucking warrant.com and printed one out and now I can arrest you. <laughs> like, there's a nah. lot, you got to do some it's fucking like- legwork to get that. Yeah, it's like, wake up, wake. It's like, oh, oh, oh. it's like, yeah, judge. Sorry, mate. Sorry, it's me, the police. Sorry, mate. Do you know what fucking time it is, dude? It's like two in the morning. What? Yeah, I'm sorry. Look, I need a warrant for Katy Perry's arrest. What? Another it's one? Like, yeah. What? What's she done this time? Oh, I wouldn't. You know, I wouldn't come unless it was important. All right. Yeah. All right. What do I put on the warrant? 
Mate, she's killed 47 orphans. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. She just mate, ran down six children. What day is it? What day is it? It's yeah. Friday, sir. Oh, okay. That's all right. I've got a draft here. I'll give you this every Friday, don't yeah. I? <laughs> the template. Where's yeah, the I've template, a, love? I've, I've got a yeah. couple of pre-signed <laughs> templates here. You just fill it out. It's, a, it's like you've seen that movie Blank Check. It's like that. Blank template, but it's for Katy Perry's arrest. There you go. <laughs> Keep a few on these on file, would you? Yeah, yeah. I'll give you a few. I'll, I'll give you. A, yeah, I'll give you. Yeah, all right. Yeah. Just don't ring send, me next week. Yeah. I'll look. I'll send you the Photoshop file, and you can just print them out when you want. The judge. Yeah. If only we knew where she was to arrest her. <laughs> Every Friday. Every Friday. The judge just goes to, to bed wearing all the, the the clothes, and then like gets the knock on the door. He's like, yeah, mate, I'm up. Let's go. All right. Yep. Yep. Good. As he's getting up and answering the door, he's putting on that yeah, weird, the wig, yeah. that weird hair wig. He's like, "What do you? I haven't even got me wig on. What do you want?" He's just he's hitting the fucking phone with a hammer in the night, yeah, like the fuck. Where the fuck, fuck, where the the fuck, fuck is, is my that? gavel? Yeah. <laughs> order, order in my house. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Uh, yeah, I thought it's like I need a warrant for Katy Perry. <laughs> Katy Perry, oh my God, have mercy! Yeah. <laughs> That's a name I wish I'd never heard. Every Friday night, <laughs> yeah, and a warrant for her arrest. Like mm. fuck, that is <laughs> hardcore, hardcore. Yeah, Miss Perry, yeah. do you want anything before oh, we put the- you away for your life? Uh ginger ale. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Bit dehydrated, yeah, a bit fucking parched. <laughs> I fully reckon they went that. Just going back to what I said before, that was such an epic fail. They're like, they've done the Google search term. They're like, oh, we need epic fail in there. Let's put that at the last line of the chorus. What rhymes with fail? Ale or oh, ginger ale? Maybe she can want a ginger ale. Like, perfect. I think I need a ginger ale. Lovely. Yep. Like, I guarantee that's how that line came about. I think I need a ginger ale. That was such an epic fail. Like. It's just a, that those those two lines are weird. Max Martin's like, get me ginger ale on the phone. I'll see if they'll pay us for this. So like, um, ginger ale isn't a brand; it's a type of drink. It's like, get ginger <laughs> ale on the phone. <laughs> I want product placement money. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's like, anyway, I need to get to San Diego ASAP. Get me, <laughs> get me flight on the phone now. <laughs> get me flight transportation yeah. right now, <laughs> right now. Uh, look, that's. That's another. That's that's not a brand. That's the thing that yeah, happens yeah. when you're no, yeah, in, that's right. in a plane. Give me like, a flying taxi. <laughs> yeah. uh, there's there's no other lyrics in this. That Have you guys heard back from City same. Rail? <laughs> <laughs> I'll say it again. You guys heard back from City Rail? No. Nope. All right. Get Ginger Ale on the phone. <laughs> <Get> ginger Rail. <laughs> yeah. Um, book my ticket with City Rail. <laughs> that was such an epic fail. <laughs> Yeah, there's there's nothing. This song goes for at least another four minutes, and there's not oh, any just, other. I don't even. New lyrics how much yet. longer do we have to talk about this piece of shit? Well, not long because that's all the lyrics. Good, it's that we're done. We're done. Um, I did okay. like how she said, "Trying to connect the dots, don't know what to tell my boss." Like, is her job to do dot to dots, and <laughs> her boss is like <laughs> keeping tabs on her. Like, like, so I fuck? want all these dots dots finished today, Katie. She's Katie. Like, no problem, Your hand's so. a bit fucking shaky there. They're not straight lines between those dots at all. <laughs> like, we have some very specific KPIs on these dot to dots. <laughs> we need to be knocking out at least 10 dot to dots a day, all right? Katie, your dot to dot ratio is <laughs> is uh, plummeting. Yeah. We, we need to talk about this. You know? There's an incredible like- demand for pre finished <laughs> dot to dots. Katie, I don't want to have to tell you again, but if you're not joining the dots, then you know what? Join the dots. You might not work here anymore, okay? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, join that yeah. dot. <laughs> <laughs> dot the dot dot all. all right. It's written by Katy Perry, Dr. Luke, Max Martin, and Bonnie McKee. Bonnie McKee. Yeah. Bonnie McKee. McKee. Bonnie McKee. We've spoken about the other two before, so I'll just stop. <laughs> McKee's debut <laughs> album. <laughs> when your wife's name is Bonnie and you lost your key. Bonnie McKee. <laughs> <laughs> For fuck's sake, you seen it? <laughs> Sorry. Uh, she uh, had, had a, her, uh, she's a singer songwriter herself. Her debut album called uh, Trouble was released in September 2004. Trouble, trouble, trouble. Uh, after, <laughs> after underperforming, McKee was dropped by her label 
and took a musical hiatus before establishing herself as a songwriter. McKee has written 10 singles that have reached number one in either the US or the UK. So she's done all right as a songwriter, mm. just couldn't cut it as an artist. Um, this song apparently is a word-for-word description of this McKee chick Bull and Katy Perry going out shit. in Santa Barbara. Bullshit. I know, I know. Yeah, it's bullshit. And they're like, oh, uh, they're like, what? So you guys had a three-way? She's like, oh, no, 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 except that. Everything except that. It's like, yeah, okay, yeah, good So one. the good yeah, bit well, you didn't do. Yeah, yeah that's the main mm-hmm. bit. Like, what yeah. else? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, well, you know, we, um, I spent a lot of money on my credit card. <laughs> and yeah. and we skinny dap. <laughs> <laughs> what did you say? <laughs> I said we skinny dap. Yeah. Did I stutter? <laughs> <laughs> Past tense skinny dipping. We skinny dap. Uh, I think you'll find that's how everyone says it. Yeah. Everyone um, in the skinny dap community. I really don't have any other story behind it. it it's produced by Dr. Luke and Max Martin, which we spoke about. Fucking standard fucking hit machine production. Like it's not, there's nothing interesting oh, going on here. It's so nah, generic. It's, look, the Kesha song. I can't remember what I thought about that, whether I thought it was shit You liked or not. it. But, oh, uh, yeah, cool. I did, actually. I, I thought it was cool. Yeah. I remember now. Um, this is a, whatever that was, whether whether you like it or not, this is like a fucking D-grade version of a Kesha song. Yeah, it's uh, lazy. It's lazy. It's, lazy. it's lazy for every <laughs> yeah, yeah. single person who has tried to make music standard. It is yes. shocking. It's just nothing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it really is. Yeah, yeah. Um, although it does have a saxophone solo from yeah. the one and only Kenny G. No, it isn't really. Yeah, it's Kenny G. No, it isn't. It's it's uh, Larry Pickett. Oh, maybe it's Kenny G in the video. And <laughs> the, uh, <laughs> Larry Pickett. <laughs> Larry Pickett performed it. He is the saxophone player for the Saturday Night Live band since 1985. Correct me if I'm wrong, though. Is there like a full on like pitch shift on it? Or can it doesn't saxophones sound, actually go that high? Uh, it doesn't say, It sounds like it's been fucked with. Yeah. 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 It does sound like it's been fucked with. See you, Dan. Yeah. See you Bye, next Dan. time, Daniel. Yeah. Fucking, yeah. Sorry. You know, we hate saxophones. We just yeah. walked off. Just, yeah. <laughs> um, all right, Bevo. The video, mate. Well, fuck. What am I going to do now? <laughs> I don't know. Southern's gone. I'll click. We'll I'll click for out. you. I'll click for you. All right. Thanks, man. I, I apologize in advance, actually. This is oh, Dan's back. One, He's but, doing it. I'm not doing it. Bye. Yeah, right. Okay. All right, Dan doing? Southern. Hit it. Talking about puberty. All right. When I got puberty, I was 11 years old. <laughs> no, I no. got puberty. <laughs> <laughs> I only look got it me. once. <laughs> got it for Christmas. Fuck. Look at all this sperm. Dude, you were, <laughs> you were so young, Dan. Isn't that 11? That's that Nickelback 11. song. I'm still it? waiting for mine. Oh, I'm still waiting for mine to hit. I was like, oh. Yeah, no, you'll get it soon. Cool. When when it happens, you'll be like, "Oh, look at all these all this sperm and pubes. They're everywhere." Oh, that's cool. <laughs> Just saying, isn't that isn't that that Nickelback song? Look at these sperm and pubes. <laughs> oh, that's no, like, I like sperm around your pubes. <laughs> There's some really um, filthy songs, Nickelback, didn't they? <laughs> <laughs> sperm around your pubes. <laughs> I just this imagine it's like you, you actually just me of a sperm around my pubes. You just got a bag of pubes and a bag of sperm. Like, oh, got my puberty. <laughs> it gets delivered to yeah. you. I ordered it a month ago. Oh, look what showed up in the mail. What? Oh, a, a little sandwich bag <laughs> full of arbors too. One's got sperm in it. The other's got pubes. I got puberty today. <laughs> Mark it down. <laughs> you got puberty? Yeah, look, here it is. <laughs> it's on special. I won, get one free. <laughs> oh. uh. <laughs> anyway. All right. Yeah, anyway. All right, Dan Southern, can you hit it, please? Uh, yeah, all right. It's a VB can and it's going to make this noise. Here's the video facts from A to Z and the coming. Straight from Ryan B. It's a terrible song, and I know you were great. Music video summary with Bevo. There you go. 
Oh, that was fun. What the fuck was that? Once again, I apologize for this one. Was my best, but um, Katy Perry a pen. A t- once more, take two. <laughs> oh, I'm glad you apologized. <laughs> yeah, I know. This I was about to say, up. I'm leaving. This is this is a really bad start. It's late. Sorry, Ryan, can you just start party? again, please? <laughs> yeah, I can. Let me just <laughs> readjust yeah, my cool. okay, Oh, Perry, by the way, um, what? Oh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> oh, no, I did, sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off. Go, go, go again. Look, if you're gonna if you're gonna buy the way me, you got to back it up with something. By the way, oh, it's called cool, yeah. Yeah. What's the difference between a hippo and a zippo? Yep, one's really heavy and one's a little lighter. <laughs> <laughs> ah, I got one from Dan, so get fucked. <laughs> one's a nose. One, one's got a nose, and the other one's um... nose a got <laughs> when he sees one. <laughs> Katy Perry attends a party but does absolutely nothing advertised in the lyrical content of the song. Just Dance gets a nice plug, though. The video game? Just Dance. <laughs> oh, I thought you were talking about the Lady Gaga oh, song. Anyone? <laughs> anyone? It's in there. Anyone? No. Is it? Just Dance. Anyone? Yeah. I didn't pay attention. I, I attempted big... to watch the, the video. I, I, I stopped paying attention to it. Can I tell you, though, the cameos in this? Plenty. Okay. We got, we got bloody... We got Rebecca Black. We got Hanson. We got your Rebecca Hansen. Blacks if you want them. We've got your yeah, Hansons. We, Hansen. <laughs> <laughs> we got uh, your. Come um... on down. <laughs> Come on down to last yeah. Friday night. TGIF, the official music video by Katy Perry. <laughs> We've, We've gone, gone crazy. crazy. <laughs> We've gone crazy. We've this cunt's Hansen. lost his <laughs> mind. <laughs> We've got Rebecca Black. We've got bloody Hanson, the band. <laughs> Running out. Grab of three wall. kilos of Hansons have- and you get a free Rebecca Black. I repeat, yeah, grab three kilos of Hansons, you get a free Rebecca Black. <laughs> We've got that- Katy Perry vomiting into a roller skate, walking out we the door. Have, we have that guy from Panic at the Disco. We have CDs, DVDs. Prices so low, they'll be walking out the door. These prices are never to be repeated. I repeat, $13.90. <laughs> And we also have fruit and veg, if that's not your thing. So. <laughs> We've got more cameos here. We got, oh, um, yeah, there's heaps more. There's uh, fucking Savage. Is that not we've got, the wheelchair, we got the wheelchair guy from Glee. And we've got, one we've got that guy's wheelchair Glee. as well. <laughs> that's in it. No, he's standing up in yeah. this one. Um, we have Corey Feldman. Feldman, that's it. Ah, I'm the dead man. Now. We have... He's dead. Uh, Corey fell dead. Did I ever say Kenny... Did I say Kenny G? You did yeah, in the song. Uh, yeah. Is he in the film clip? He's in the film clip. So that's where yeah. I was mistaken. But yeah, handsome. So, yeah. Wow. I didn't know that. Um, I just, I'm watching it for the first time now. It starts out like a Brady Bunch ripoff. It's fucking dumb, man. Um, yeah. Yeah. It's not cool. Yeah, it's not, it's not, not all right. Cool. And the, the little fuckwits riding through the streets, throwing <laughs> newspapers out. Personally and like, attacked. And then it's, and then it goes to a hen on a bed. And then Katie Perry's there and she's got braces for some reason. Um, anyway, yeah, I don't know what they're trying to do. Like, it's set in the 80s. Here's a little paradox for you it looks like it's set in the 80s because everyone's wearing like 80s gear yeah. or whatever. But Corey Feldman, as an adult, is also in the where he would have clip. been a child in the 80s. He would have been a child. So she also know, updates her Facebook status on her laptop. She does have a laptop, right? Yeah. Okay, yeah, well, what's sorry, going friend, on? Friend place, it is what she this. did was. The problem, the problem you have, Dan, here is the reason why you think it's in the eighties is because she was sharing something from news.com and we didn't see it. So, right, uh, oh, yeah, oh, year is twenty twenty one, and uh, news yeah. is news is cancelled, really. But yeah, it's like the Soviet here's Union. A little, here's a little Easter egg for you. I've just noticed she's doing Sudoku at one minute twenty five, and she's written nine twice in the same. Box as well as six twice That's in the fucked. same box. Yeah. What a fucking idiot. That's not how what you play Sudoku. Dumb, dumb. <laughs> it's not so six and nine coup, it's Sudoku, okay? <laughs> not so six and nine coup. <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah. There you go. I got, I got you know what? And, and in her bedroom, there's these like uh, ribbons that she's got. It's like first place, second place. You know, I reckon she got all those ribbons first place for being a fuckwit, second place for being. <laughs> Less of a second, fuck with than what she the was. Second biggest last year. fuck with. <laughs> she only lost to herself last year. 
She was the. <laughs> she <laughs> can't win two years in a row. You can't win two years in a row. It's just like the rule. So, yeah, but yeah, Rebecca, Rebecca, Black. <laughs> Rebecca Black. She did something, <laughs> didn't she? What's she, who's she? We well, that's Friday. where the crossover it, comes in because she's Friday. Friday, Friday, Friday. Ooh. <laughs> you know that song? Yeah, that one. Oh, yeah, I do know that song. Yeah. yeah. And, like, don't try and pretend that you, you didn't ruin your life with that song by being in this video. We're, you're not fooling anyone, yeah. Rebecca Nate, Black. You know what she does? Um, So that, that whole, in, in case you don't know, listeners out there, there's a person named Rebecca Black and she released a song called Friday and it was renowned for being absolutely terrible. I don't think I've ever um, heard it. Oh well, that's not how it goes. By the way, it goes. It goes. Um, we'll do it next week. How's uh, that? Yeah, let's oh. do it next week. Yes. Anyway, um, so the without giving too much away, because we're going to do it. Um, it's a classic like rich parents pay to produce to like um, you know, make my kid a star. And so this person uh. wrote a song and auto tuned her vocals and all that stuff and and made a thing. And it turned out to be fucking terrible. <laughs> um, and so what Bev just said about mean. like. Don't don't pretend that didn't ruin your life. Like she does pretend it didn't ruin her life oh, because okay. she goes she goes out there and does these like all these interviews and stuff and embraces it all. So I saw one where she was like um, talking about it, like it was um, like she does a lyric breakdown and goes on and on about them, like they're really deep and uh, and she does shit like this, like the song's called Friday and I'm in it. So anyway, we'll we'll go into the world of Rebecca Black next week okay. and uh, you'll find out more. Okay, cool. We have to um, yeah. All right, I've got nothing video-wise here. I did have that comment. I just put it in the chat for you, Dan, because I know you like these particular types of comments. So if you'd like to read this one. Oh, okay. Oh, this is a comment. I didn't know what, it, yeah, what I, any of that meant. Can you, okay. Uh, can you see yeah. it there? Yeah, so this is from Sierra Smallwood two days ago. Comment on this video. Uh, the divergent drug chemically <laughs> drop... Because rubber delightfully bubble before a abject deadline, full stop. Cowardly near traffic. <laughs> is there one of these on every video or what? Like, what crazy what is that? shit uh, is going through people's minds when they type that out? Mm. Yeah. I reckon <laughs> it's just that it's that middle button on the on the messenger, you know, where you just got to be like, cowardly. The divergent traffic. drug immuno, immunohistochemically. <laughs> that's a big word. Yeah, that's a big word. I feel like if you read that as a news presenter on site, it kind of sounds a lot better. The divergent drug immunohistochemically <laughs> drop because rubber delightfully bubbled before a, a, a object deadline, cowardly, near traffic. And I'm coming to you from the Brisbane <laughs> underground, Xavier. <laughs> and can you give us a can you give us a Marge reading this one? Ooh. Oh, yeah, yeah, just the, la- just the yeah. last bit here. Yeah. Okay. Um, on your- <laughs> <laughs> what did he say? What did he say? Feel he said, good. Like, um, feel good 98. Yeah, feel good. Yeah. Feel good 98. <laughs> Abject deadline. Cowardly. Near traffic. Love that song. <laughs> <laughs> on your drive home. Uh, yeah. Signing in to sign off. Yeah, yeah. Maja here, <laughs> signing out from the sign in that I just did. <laughs> Cowardly. <laughs> Cowardly. <laughs> oh, fuck. All right. Uh, you got a set list, Bebe? I do. Yeah. Um, here's a, another. I'm, I was doing all the set lists from the year that the song came out, but I think it makes more sense to do it the most recent because all the hits are there and it's. Hard to decide. Bevo, you're making the rules up, mate. Do whatever you want. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm also making the set lists up. <laughs> well, no. Oh, up. there's a twist. <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> All right. Another one close, to, pretty close to home. Uh, Katy Perry at the MCG, Melbourne, Australia. Fuck. March 8th, 2020. She played the MCG? This is only a 12 at the MCG, yeah. Wait, 12 no, songs it must have been for something. She wouldn't have had a show at the MCG. MCG holds 100,000 people. You're saying she can't fill that? Yeah, I'm saying she can't really? fill that. Yes. <laughs> Correct. Yeah. That's... Wait. Well, yeah. it's only a 12 song set list. So I'd feel a bit ripped off if I went to a full show for Katy Perry. Okay. And, All right. I only saw that. But anyway. All right. 12 songs. 12 songs. No encore. 
Um, lots of hits though. Lots of hits. Chibs, what are you? Where are you playing uh, last Friday night? Oh, TGIF. It's not a good song. Uh, <laughs> but maybe it's not a good song. Uh, fourth, fourth. Okay. Yeah. Seth. Um. <laughs> 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 oh, oh, Mr. Landry, the frying is broken again. Um. Ten. <laughs> oh, Ten. sorry, we weren't rating it. Um, <laughs> uh, I stand by it. Ten. Yeah. Okay. Tenth. Okay. Dan Sutherland. DS. Uh, I also think it's not a good song, and I'll give this a ten. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. Um, yeah. No, I think she's opening with it. Okay. Because I do think it's not a good song, but I I think that uh, it's something that you'd probably go, all right, cool, that's a big enough hit to open with, and be like, let's get it out of the way because it's the shittest one that she's done. Not a big well, opener. Katy Perry opens her set with Raw. That's good. Oh, which, yeah, you could open with my that. opinion is a good opener. It's a good, good opener. opener. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'll give you the top five here. We got Raw, followed by Firework, followed by Teenage Dream, followed by Hot and Cold, and the fifth song, Last Friday Night, TGIF. Fuck, oh, it's close. What is she close with? Closes the set with Baby, You're a Fire. Wait, you already said Firework. She's played it second. She's played it twice. Oh, my God. No. (laughs) That is fucked. It's an 11 song. We have our our first instance of a double song in the set. No, we don't. We don't. That's... We mentioned it before. What? Someone's played Which it twice. Song? Someone played a song twice. Oh yeah, 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 oh, yeah. It's, yeah, but no, that's I'm, surprising. I'm sure we've we've talked about it, but this is the first time it's actually happened. That's surprising to me because, like, I don't know much about it, but I assume that she could probably do like eleven hits in a row, and they're all fucking number one hits. But she probably could have just snuck in. One of her other songs that aren't like a yeah, radio yeah, hit yeah, yeah. that's still a crowd favorite. Like what about like just, kiss, just so kiss, she doesn't kiss the girl and all that. That's like, right. Where does she, yeah. she play that? That's in there. Where does she, she play did. that? Just so she doesn't have to do a reprise. Of, is what I'm saying. Reprise. Where does she play <laughs> that? Just lost the set list. Hang on, let me bring it back up again. Just stall for me. Oh fuck! How can you play firework twice? Like you played it second. Do you think people have forgot that you did it if you start doing it again to leave? Sorry, what was the question? When was I kiss the girl? Yeah. Seventh. So we got, okay, I'll read you the whole thing. Firework, sorry, Raw Firework, Teenage Dream, Hot and Cold, Last Friday Night, California Girls, Kiss the Girl, E.T., Dark Horse, Chain to the Rhythm, Wide Awake, Firework. I don't know what Wide That's Awake or Chain to the Rhythm is, but yeah, dumb. Okay. Whatever. Okay. <laughs> the, the song. Right yeah, the song had a chart success worldwide, reaching number one in Slovakia and the Czech Republic. Uh, it attained top 10 positions in Austria, Ireland, Italy, and Poland. So, you know, the big markets. Um, it did pop. It did top the did uh, US Billboard Hot 100. <laughs> it popped, it popped like popped a hard. Pop balloon. Yeah. Uh, Perry became the first female solo artist to have five number on one singles on the Hot 100 from a single album. Uh, it was Perry's sixth number one single on the Billboard Hot 100 and her fifth. What does that mean? I don't know. Oh, fifth consecutive number one single. <laughs> and her fifth. The, fifth. Yeah. <laughs> the single. The single sold 3.8 million digital no, copy, it copies in the US. No, it didn't. And was the tenth most played single on US radio during 2011. Yeah, I think every um, American problem that exists today. Stems back right. to this song getting played <laughs> yeah, so much. Sorry, but it all started to go downhill. Okay, Katy Perry's net worth, Bevo. Oh, it's too much. Three hundred million. Sav. Oh yeah, <laughs> fuck! It's a lot, isn't it? <laughs> he takes this serious. This one. Oh, I do. <laughs> him a, lot a, like a lot of anguish. I feel a lot of anguish. Adds an extra two eighty um, noise. Two eighty million. Yeah. All right, Southern. Um, two hundred million. Befo is fucking closest. Three hundred and thirty million dollars. Ah, that's a lot of money. Uh, that's a lot of money. That's a twenty twenty one. It's three hundred mil, but then an extra couple of properties in through. Also, Dan, I yeah, was thinking right. of Corey Monteith, right. not Corey Feldman. 
Monteith. Corey Monteith is definitely the one that's dead out of the Corys. Oh, <laughs> <when you> said, <laughs> right. Yeah, I don't know who that is. Corey Feldman died. I was like, oh, I didn't mm-hmm. know that. I didn't know that. Okay, yeah, well, who was Corey Monteith? Yeah, I don't know. That Glee bloke. Oh, Glee he necked himself. Yes, he did. Or something, yep. didn't he? Ooh. Yeah. That's, that's recent. Oh, that was 10 yeah. years ago. Something like that. Fucking ages oh. ago. Yeah. No, there's uh, like a history of Glee people meeting certain doom in one way or another. The Glee curse. The glurs. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> glurs. The glurs. It was the burst of times. Okay. It was the glurs of times. Okay. <laughs> It's a blurst of times, <laughs> you stupid monkey. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, no. Okay. Um, how many strangers in your bed uh, out of 10? 10 being. Oh, you can, no, we, you can't play the sting without saying the, the catchphrase. Oh, that's right. Let's write this shit. Motherfuckers, this is it. Now it's time to write this shit. <laughs> okay, stra- strangers in the bed, 10 strangers. It's filled up your whole bed full of strangers. Nowhere for you to go now. Um, so now you've just, you know, you've got to leave your house, never come back. Um, one is that um, there was one stranger in there uh, and they killed you. <laughs> <laughs> That stranger turned out to be a psychopath <laughs> with a knife. Yeah. Warrant should have been out for his arrest. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You, um, you're there and you're like, well, night stranger. And he goes, yeah, well, it's not a good knife for you. Rolls over and starts going, da, 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 da. like that scene in Chopper where, just, yeah, where yeah. he just gets like uh, slammed yeah. in the chest about six times. Yeah. yeah. Jimmy Lofton, <laughs> your mate. Uh, all right. What do you give it out of 10 Southern? Um, what's that? What's that old fable? Uh, there were ten Mabel. in the bed, and and the little one said grasshopper and the uh, ant. <laughs> yeah, you know, if there was ten people in my bed, I would tell them to get the fuck out. You're not welcome here. <laughs> this is my bed. This is for me and my family. There's ten people only. in my bed. Fall asleep in. Yeah. Um, I get this such a ten. Fuck this song. Yeah, fuck it. Hate it. What's going on? Oh god, I hate it so much. Yeah, it's not good. It's not good. No. Be- Bevo, what do you give it, mate? <laughs> oh, four. <laughs> this is oh, no, 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 four. Can't just get a straight one out of him tonight. Okay. Remember, remember <sighs> start revving that frog up. <laughs> 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 Bing, 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 bing. Um, <laughs> bam, bam. Voice, crazy frog is in my bed. Bam, 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 bam. <laughs> Pictures of last night ended up online. I'm screwed. Bang, bang. Bam, bam. <laughs> <laughs> I've always been a pretty conservative type of dude where, like, I hear songs like this and I'm like, Fucking why be like that? Why black yourself out and do all that stuff? And then I like the older I get, I'm like, well, you do you, and I'll I'll not do that. And what all the cool kids are doing, either or. So yeah, and like you know, back when this song came out, I was like, this is reprehensible fucking shit, (laughs) because like it's it's advocating and it's like celebrating like terrible behavior, just deplorable shit. Yeah. Worse than that, though, this song has three melodies, three total melodies. One goes, and one goes, and then the other one goes, and that's the whole song. Those three melodies. Fuck that. Fuck this song. 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10. Holy shit. You stole uh, Zav, what are you giving Ten chips, what about you? You stole! What's going on? I'll give it a ten. Holy you shit! Stole. You stole! You stole! You motherfucking stole! What's going on? I didn't realise how much I hated this song. Me either. Yeah. Until fucked. I was listening to it and I'm like, this is so shit. Yes. And the film clip, yeah. it enraged me as well. Yes. Yeah. It's I like, honestly like, didn't know I hated it. Yes. I didn't know I you know hated when, it. Yes. You know yeah. when all, like someone puts yeah. out a video and they're heaps amused by what they've done, but yep. you don't really find it that yep. funny? Correct. That's what this is. 
That's every yeah. single video clip any local band has yeah. ever shown me. This is going to fucking make so many people happy <laughs> or make them laugh or make them sad. And you're just watching, you're like, that wasn't 10 seconds like every other video on Facebook. So I'm going to keep scrolling. Yeah, yeah. I can tell that you <laughs> thought this was amusing and you probably have to know you to find it funny. Yeah. Okay. So fun. this is, this is, we got a conundrum here, fellas. This mm. is, we got two songs that are on 100%. Okay. So who takes the number? So one spot? we make it an Instagram fan thing, and right. give them twenty four hours, and they whichever vote. one has the least. <coughs> yeah, the fan, the fan vote. That's cool. Least like love. That. Yeah. I also yeah. well, I also like um this this podcast called the Weekly Planet, and here and there, what they'll do is like they'll do superhero showdown, and they'll just get like fans to send in a request, be like the Flash versus. Or like you know, the Flash 2012 versus the Flash 1985, and they're gonna like mm. Flash versus prostate cancer. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but anyway, and then they'll pit them against each other and figure out like, all right, based on those you know facts, who who's the winner? So maybe we could do like a showdown. Like that sounds every time like um, a- I'm gonna have to do a lot of work. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, I think we can show that figure out of those two, which one is by well, right. I really yeah. liked Zav's idea of a poll on Instagram, <laughs> <laughs> letting someone else do it that says vote for Friday night or according to you by Orianthi. So, which one should be number one? Which one should be if number you're out one? They're listening, Ray and Stefan and <laughs> Shelly. Wait, all of them. what about if we get Ray and Stefan to have a fight and Ray is like <laughs> Katy Perry? They're going to dress yeah. up as each one. Yes, that yeah, would be nice. Yeah, we just dress up Ray like Katy Perry and then we get Stefan to dress like um, Orianthi. Ari- and, uh, yeah, we just give them their prospective weapons. So, like, Orianthi has a guitar. So, Stefan, you get a guitar to use as your weapon. Ray, you get, um, what has Katy Perry got? Just Cheated like- on by Orlando Bloom. Massive <laughs> okay. okay, yeah. <laughs> nice. <laughs> And then there's going to fight to the death <laughs> if everyone lives. Right. That's number one. No, that's not number yeah. one. The person who died <laughs> should be number one. Yes. I'm conf- yeah, in their yeah. honour. Okay. Yeah, all right. <laughs> okay. Yeah, let's go with that hey, one. Have a little respect. Have, a, have some respect for the dead. Yeah, okay. I agree. Yeah. Okay. All right. Fair enough. Um, well, that's exciting, isn't okay, it? Okay, bye. Who would have thought? I didn't see that coming. This no, I nice feel little, sad uh, for either Ray or high. Stephen. Whoever's gonna die. Yeah, oh well, no, fuck him. Yeah. <laughs> also fuck him. My yeah. money's on Ray because you know what they call Ray? They call him Dirty Ray. Sugar, <laughs> Sugar Ray. <laughs> I was thinking Heavy of like, like fifty different thousand different things there. Yeah. They call him Ray Gun. They call him <laughs> Yeah. Raging Bull Ray. <laughs> no, they actually do they call, call him Dirty Ray. Sting Ray. His friend, right. Good stuff. His friend John messages me and refers to him as Dirty Ray. So I think Dirty, dirty Ray's John? quite dirty. Dirty John. Okay. Dirty John. <laughs> Clean John and Dirty Ray. Ray. <laughs> right. That makes sense. <laughs> I'm going to bed. Okay. Good night. Um, yeah. Everyone get fucked. See, See fuck you. Fuck you all. Fuck's sake. Bye. Bye. And a ring a ding a ding a ding.